What is going on you guys? Make it Wayne back and today is episode 2 of my Madden 25 Mind Player in Connected Franchise Mode with DeAnthony Thomas. I took your guys advice. I went with third quarter tie again for my practice mode but I am going to be doing fourth quarter from now on because third quarter tie just takes way too long and I want to get to the games man. I don't want to worry about practice. I know in real life it takes practice to get better, but this is a video game, this isn't real life. So you're going to see, we're going to get a couple good carries in this practice mode. I took your guys' advice and I changed to all Madden difficulty instead of all pro because I made it look way too easy out on the field the first time. And you're going to see a nice run right here, makes a couple people miss. And that's the speed he shows off, the 97 speed. And we're going to look to upgrade that a little bit. Maybe get him 98 speed, but that's going to cost a ton. And we're not really worried about that right now. We're worried about his trucking and his carrying. See if we can make that better. We're going to get a nice punt return, a nice spin move. We get down to about the 41-yard line. We're looking to win this challenge because if you win, you get 2,000 XP. And if you lose, you get 1,000. So we got to win. Get those extra XP points so we can spend those and make him better because he's a 76 overall right now. We're going to look to upgrade him. And you guys were talking in the comment section down below. And we're going to start by upgrading his stamina so he can run faster for a longer period of time. But you guys are going to have to let me know what you think I should keep upgrading for him and make better. And we're able to get him up to a 78 overall. And we're going to jump into the first game of this video and we're gonna be playing the San Francisco 49ers. So I don't know why, but in Madden 25 Ultimate Team, when you're playing head-to-head -head games, why do I have to play during the day every single time? I enjoy in this series how I can play at night, afternoon, middle of the day. I, I enjoy it a lot. It makes the stadiums look a lot better. Kansas City looks great at night, as you guys can see with that overhead view. But we're gonna get into this gameplay. Uh, D'Anthony Thomas is going to get his first action early in this game with a punt return. He's down the sidelines. Nice spin move and gets brought down at about the 50-yard line. We're in the game, second quarter, 319 to go. We get a handoff, and we're going to get a nice 14-yard uh, gain. Not a bad way to start it off. We're coming out of the backfield looking to catch a pass, but Aaron Murray has another idea, and he throws it into the end zone for a touchdown. Nice find by him, and he's going to hit us out of the backfield right here. Nice spin move. Gets us another game. I really like the spin move. I don't care who I am using. I'm going to use my spin move. But you guys could see I was wide open. And Aaron Murray decides to throw it across his body to another guy. And he get, ends up getting picked off. He's lucky he didn't get a pick six right there. But Kansas City is... I mean, we're Kansas City. San Francisco is able to score for the touchdown. Make it 10-7. to And you're going to get to see my first kickoff return. We're going to bounce it to the outside. Looks like we meet might beat everyone we get brought down at the 28 yard line so we're back on offense once again I'm coming out of the backfield and Andy Reid looks pissed on third down and nine I don't know what the heck happened I was spamming the Y button to catch it but for some reason um DeAnthony Thomas did not feel like catching it and it just bounced off my helmet but that's okay we're back out on offense once again we're gonna get a nice run right here on third down and two to give us a first down four rushes 22 yards so far we also have a lot of receiving yards out of the backfield to go with those rushing yards we're going to be coming out of the backfield once again and we're going to catch this one and we do get the first down and we're three receptions 30 yards not bad for a running back coming out of the backfield we get absolutely crushed right there by the linebacker we get another handoff and DeAnthony Thomas is going to take this one and he's brought down but not until after a four yard gain we're having a pretty good game so far we're going to bounce this one to the outside not get really anything going there on that run once again nice delayed handoff we take it up the middle for a nine yard game it's a 10 to 7 game this is the preseason so we are playing against a second string team we're trying to see if we can put a good showing and maybe get some first team reps during the regular season in our first season with the Anthony Thomas if you guys are new to the channel make sure to go check out the first episode of this before you watch this episode I know I'm talking about that like halfway through the episode but we're gonna end up winning that game against the 49ers 10 to 7 and we're back in practice mode once again and like I said I think I'm gonna do the fourth quarter tie because it's not as long and you get as many XP points if you win so we're gonna go ahead and select that 
we're in the practice mode once again. Like I said, we're going to be taking an HB draw right here out of the backfield. And DeAnthony Thomas gets absolutely popped. He fumbles the ball. And after that, I didn't get a single rep in practice mode. So fr from here on out, I think I'm going to be working on upgrading my carrying. Because I think it's only 84. And that is pretty bad for a running back in the NFL. We're going to try to upgrade that. Get that up into the upper 90s. It's a thousand points each, so we're probably going to be saving our XP points so we can definitely continue to upgrade that. And like I said earlier, I mean, this makes Heinz Field look amazing with the weather change. I don't understand why I'm at an Ultimate Team. I can't play at night, can't play in the afternoon, I can't play in the rain, I can't play in the snow. Like, what's the reason for that? There's no reason at all. I really feel like it makes the stadiums come alive, look even better if you're not just playing during the day each time. But we get in this game early, 2 minutes and 30 seconds to go, but on our first play, Aaron Murray, no wait, that was Alex Smith, decides to throw a pick. So maybe we're going to see Aaron Murray and DeAnthony Thomas starting off this season in the first team. Probably not, but maybe throughout the season. So we're going to keep our eye on Aaron Murray, but there's that filthy spin move, DeAnthony Thomas puts it to work. And we get a nice gain on the punt return. That's what I'm expecting to see with him day in and day out on the punt returns and kick returns. He needs to be electrifying. Be like he was in the first preseason game. That was so fun to watch. That one punt return. Oh my goodness. I think he broke a tackle and then he just reversed field and he was gone. It was ridiculous. But you're, you're going to see in this game that Pittsburgh was doing a great job of stopping me in the backfield. I was getting some really early reps. I guess Jamal Charles got all his work in. And look at Aaron Murray just throwing dots all over the field. He's putting in a good showing for some first team reps in the season. So maybe we might see a DeAnthony Thomas, Aaron Murray combination. I wouldn't even be mad about that. But we're in the backfield once again coming out. We catch the pass. It looks like we crossed the goal line, but we were one yard short. So we're going to take a handoff. And um, DeAnthony Thomas is going to get his first career touchdown right there. Not a bad way to get it on the HB draw. We, I mean, I guess it could count as your first career touchdown, but that's the preseason. Let's get some of those in the regular seasons, and then we'll count it. And we're coming out of the backfield once again. And look at this block downfield. It's able to free us. And you're going to see this man's speed in the open field. We were one break it, broken tackle away from a touchdown. But he did bring us down. And we're going to get another handoff up the middle. We're having a pretty good game with DeAnthony Thomas. Already have one touchdown. Looking to add on to that. Looking to have a good showing for the coach. Andy Reid so we can get some first team reps so you can see we only have five carries and 14 yards but we do have a touchdown looking to get a second touchdown we are on the two yard line and we're going to pound this one in to get the touchdown and we make it a 17 to 7 game and we're going to get a celebration with Aaron Murray and DeAnthony Thomas right there um, I lied it's 27 to 6 I don't know what the heck I was thinking but make sure to comment down below guys if you like this series and you want me to continue this and I can even do different players once I finish the Anthony Thomas we could do other NFL rookies I look to continue this series on until Madden 15 so make sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this series comment down below if you guys have any suggestions for this series for me but you can see that the Anthony Thomas did fumble right there but that's okay. That's why I'm going to be working on his carrying because we cannot be fumbling in the NFL or you're going to have a very short career. But that's going to be the end of this game. We end up walking away with the 27-6 victory. We had a pretty good game through the air. We had that big, I think, 60-yard catch out of the backfield. We had two rushing touchdowns. So not a bad game overall. Like I said, 27-6. We're handling these teams pretty easily. I changed it to all Madden difficulty, but you can see we're going to get our first player of the game. 15 carries, 37 yards, 2 touchdowns. Not a bad day on the ground. I'd like to improve on that, get a better um, run percentage of uh, runs per carry. Yards per carry. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. But you guys will have to let me know down below what you would like me to spend my XP points on. I think I'm going to be saving up for upgrading my carrying because it's pretty low right now for an NFL running back I mean seriously 84 we got to get that in the upper 90s if we want to stop fumbling because you cannot fumble in the NFL and like I said you will have a short career 
I'm also gonna work on trying to upgrade his stamina because that's pretty low as well at 60. We're gonna have to upgrade that so he can break long runs and you know that's what DeAnthony Thomas is there for to break long runs, have electrifying returns. So we're gonna have to upgrade that as well. But we're gonna play the Packers next week. We're one and they are one and two in the preseason, and we are three and zero. Oh. We are rolling through this preseason right now, but it's only the preseason, so it doesn't really matter. We're just trying to get the coach to take a look at us, see if we can get some first team reps during the season with DeAnthony Thomas. But that's pretty much gonna be it for this episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more Madden 25 content. Go follow me on Twitter at MakeItWayne. And until next time, guys, have a good one.